Good morning, Mark Sutter with HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for Saturday, the 14th of October, 2017. Ophelia, still a hurricane, still a Category 2, which surprised me that it's still there. And got a large eye. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. So it has 100 mile per hour winds, pressure 971, and it's moving pretty fast now towards the east northeast at 24 miles per hour. We also have Invest Area 92L down here just northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Really not much to look at with it uh, if we just click on the map and you get to see the different symbols overlaid on top of the satellite picture. Really not much down here, but it might try to develop into something rather sloppy in this region near Bermuda in a few days. Uh, I really don't see much in the global models to suggest that it will be very strong. And then we, of course, have Ophelia here, and this is headed off past the Azores and eventually up towards Ireland over the next several days, and uh, eventually Scotland from there. And uh, that's going to be a real issue for that region. Very windy, some rain, but probably widespread power, power outages across that region. Uh, not since 1961, when Debbie came through this area, uh, has there been an impact like this. And I do believe it's going to bring hurricane conditions. It doesn't have to be a textbook, classic, scientifically structured, warm core hurricane to bring hurricane conditions. That makes sense. You can have hurricane force winds, even though the structure of the system does not quite resemble a true deep tropical hurricane. Uh, the end result is still going to be the same. Lots of power outages, trees down, coastal storm surge, you name it, it'll probably be happening, especially here along the southwest coast of Ireland as this moves through during the day Monday. Uh, really interesting and historic. You know, I won't say it's going to be a precedent that will be set because it's been a long time since Debbie in 1961, but it does happen. You know, It's not like it's never happened before. So here's the satellite picture of it this morning. Again, very well-defined eye and a very well-defined central dense overcast. The you know, large area of convection like a donut around the system. And we can just look at a still image here, colorized infrared. And some overall deeper oranges showing up in there. Uh, Ophelia kind of going against the grain here of what I was thinking would happen with it. And it's developed a deeper convection. Uh, just a little hint right there, darker orange. So it's holding its own at 100 miles per hour. If we look at the model guidance over the next four days, uh, you can see Ophelia here entering the picture, passing fairly far to the south and east of the Azores, riding along this frontal boundary. And just to the south and east of that boundary, boom, it goes right into Ireland during the day on Monday, and then eventually fading out over Scotland and portions of the North Sea. Uh, again, this is going to have strong winds, especially on that southeast side of the circulation, pushing into the southwest side of Ireland. A big problem for there, for sure. Uh, luckily, it looks like the rain, I don't want to say it fades out, but it's not as prevalent uh, in the model here. You don't see a lot of dark greens and blues indicating that the rain, not quite as big of an issue as the wind is going to be. Nevertheless, you're going to know that a powerful ocean storm is upon you in this area. Southwest Ireland, all that onshore flow. Some of these wind barbs in there looking like 55, 60 knots or so, maybe higher. Uh, so hurricane force wind gusts with 50 to 60 uh, knots of sustained wind, your average wind speed over a period of time, easily approaching 50 to 60 knots in my opinion and maybe even higher than that. It's hard to say. But what, what's for sure is this is going to be a very long fetch of wind coming in as the system approaches, and it's going to spread out. So you folks there, uh, quite a few followers on Twitter and on YouTube, be ready. It's going to be a, an interesting phenomenon. If you're going to go out and document it, be very, very careful. Uh, be wary of the huge waves that could be impacting along the immediate coast and any rocks and boulders that could be flung up. Uh, on any of that impacts from those big waves. Uh, we want to be able to see this interesting phenomenon if you share it on social media, etc. But just be careful doing so, all right? And um, be ready because the power could get knocked out. And uh, In fact, I'm sure it will. 
Uh, and that's about it. We're getting through October. Things will start to calm down. Generally speaking, the frequency of activity drops. And after this season, that is a good thing. All right, well, that's it from me for today. We'll keep an eye on what's happening with Ophelia and, of course, 92L. But, again, I don't think much will come of that. Uh, but we can talk about that in the coming days as well. Uh, I am Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. I'll have more for you tomorrow afternoon.